We are going to go head over to my grandma's where my sister is over there with the baby macaws. Well, they're all grown up now. Ah, oh, ah, oh, you got me, you got me. I'm literally locked in here. I don't know how I did this myself. The macaw is fully flighted right now. He's oh my, hey, be nice to your brother. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, we are going to go head over to my grandma's where my sister is over there with the baby macaws. You probably have seen them on my channel. Well, they're all grown up now. They're doing just so absolutely amazing. I actually went to the store. I got some toys for them. We're gonna be installing some new enrichment toys in their enclosures. We're gonna be giving them a bath. I'm gonna be showing you their flight skills. So if you guys wanna see all of that, well, stick along for today's video and without further ado let's hop into it all right guys I'm sorry if it's windy right now but I am at my grandma's house right now we've got our macaw toys and the macaws have for the very first time today actually been set up in an outdoor enclosure now I want to show you guys them right now oh my gosh these are the little blue throated macaws I'm just gonna open it slightly so you guys can take a look at them now these macaws are fully flighted so you know these guys right here, uh, they could fly away. So we have thing number one and thing number two. And by thing number one and thing number two, I mean both blue and sky. So I'm gonna come in the cage and I'm literally gonna lock myself in here with the birds. Now, hi guys, how you doing? So the macaws are a little bit scared of me right now just cause I'm inside of their territory. But you know, we're just here hanging out with them. I'm sorry, buddy. He's coming down for his food. Now these macaws, they're not fully weaned yet. So we've got some formula blended with their solid food and we have some water as well. Now the water gets a little dirty because well, these are birds and they get the water nice and dirty. So here's the other little guy right here. He's having a good time. Hi there, Bubba, hi. So we're gonna give these blue throated macaws a head massage. Now the blue throated macaws are just slightly different than the actual regular blue and golds. The blue and golds will have a black little spot right here. These guys, as you can see, have a gorgeous blue coloration right there. And another cool fact about the blue throated macaws is they're actually just slightly smaller than the actual blue and gold macaws. So you wanna step up. So we're training the birds now and by we, I really mean my sister. These are my sister's birds. We've been teaching him to step up. So when you say step up, he knows to put his little hand on my finger. Step up, butter. Step up, kid. Come here, kid. Step up. Look at that. Look, he stepped up. What a good little macaw boy. Hello. Oh, yeah. What's up, guy? Guys, go comment down below what you think he just said to me right now. Now, it's kind of hard to even, like, stand up in here. Now these macaws, oh, what are you doing, Mr. Aggressive Guy? What are you doing, big guy? Ah, ah, you got me, you got me. Oh no, guys, I'm, I'm literally locked in here. I don't know how I did this myself. Lance, Lance, help me. Get me out of here, bro. Lance over here saved me from being locked and stranded with these macaws. So I went to the store earlier today and I decided it is time to give the macaws some good enrichment. With birds, you wanna stimulate their minds. They can become bored quite easily. So I went to the store and I got some toys. We're just gonna take the toys. We're gonna stick them out just like this. So I got two of these right here. These are these really nice heavy duty toys right here that we're gonna hang from inside of the cage. So we got this one right here. And we've got another one right here. What's really cool about these is they're a super hard plastic that the macaws really can't break. And they're colorful. Not only can the macaws see these crazy oranges, yellows, and pinks, but macaws can actually see colors that humans can't. Macaws can see colors on different spectrums and different wavelengths. For those of you that did not know, which is pretty crazy to think that they can see colors that, well, we can. So we got them these hard plastic toys here. And then I got them this one right here. Now this is more of a wooden toy. Now the macaws with this wooden toy right here, they're probably gonna destroy it quite easily with this stick. So there's some plastic pieces right here. There's some wood little chew blocks. And and there's some more, more of like a, a hard plastic toy, just like these right here. And this one right here is a Jungle Talk macaw toy and it encourages mental and emotional health for the macaws. The macaws are gonna have just an absolute blast playing with these toys. Now before we actually install the toys inside of their cage, well we've gotta take these toys right here, we've gotta rinse them off because we don't know what kind of chemicals are possibly on the toys from the manufacturer when they were in the store. They could have come in contact with all kinds of stuff so we have to make sure the toys are nice and clean for these little baby macaws one minute 37 seconds later we're in the kitchen now we've got our hard toys we're just gonna drop them in place and we're gonna take some of this okay
Okay, we're gonna take some Dawn soap right now. This is some good stuff, and we're just gonna drizzle some Dawn soap on the toys. And then we're gonna turn this thing on right here, and we're gonna go full on blast mode and really get the toys all clean. They've got soap all over them, as you can see. We're gonna rinse the toys off. We're gonna get them all nice and clean. We're gonna get any potential chemicals that are on these toys off. Would you look at that? The first toys have been cleaned with soap, and they are nice and clean. Now we're gonna take this wood toy right here for the macaws, and we're just gonna actually rinse this one off. Because this is wood, we don't wanna put soap on it that could actually seep into it, but look at this, guys. Look at all the dye that was on the toys. You could see all the dye that's just coming off, this excess dye that would have gotten all in the bird's mouth. By rinsing this dye off, we're actually helping the birds. Now, I'm sure this is safe dye, but you know, we like to rinse it off and be extra careful. The toys are nice and clean. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head outside. I'm going to take each of the macaws out individually. I'm going to show them to all of you guys, and then we're going to install their new toys. I'm going to go inside now very meticulously, quite easily, and I'm just going to hold this door like this. Hi, Butta. Hi, kiddo. Hi. Can you come to me? Step up. So as you can see, the macaw is fully flighted right now. He's flapping. He wants to fly away, but that's why I'm holding his feet. So we're not going to let him fly away. You can see just at this size. They're just at weaning size. And look, you can see he wants to fly away and be a good macaw. Now, we're not going to let him fly away right now because that would not be good. We don't want him to fly away. So what's really insane about the blue-throated macaws is they're highly endangered. They're actually critically endangered with only about three to 400 of these beautiful macaws left in the wild. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. If you didn't know what bird macaw poop looked like, that right there is what the macaw poop looks like. Some nasty wet stuff, but these macaws are doing so good. Hi, and the, another thing with these macaws is they are highly vocal. So the macaws are very vocal with each other. They like to talk. They can learn all kinds of different words, such as hello, sometimes, oh yeah. They are really young right now. Their vocal cords are, you know, they're still developing. But it's just crazy to think that by breeding these animals in captivity, we're actually helping their wild counterparts. We must have a genetic bank in captivity to ensure their survival. You know, you never know if some sort of a disease in the wild wipes out the whole population. Even if that happens, we'll have a good genetic bank here in captivity. Look at you, little guy. You want to you wanna give me a kiss? I don't, I don't trust them. I don't trust them to not bite me. Oh, my gosh. You want to bite me? Hey, hey, that, hey, no, no, that hurts. No. Hey. Wow, this is one feisty little guy. Look at this. This is Hannah's little babies right here. Such adorable little mom and baby love right there. The macaws love Hannah. And I'm telling you right now, if I were to try to kiss the macaw like that, they would bite the crap out of my tongue. They'd bite my lip. But since Hannah raised them, that's their mom right there. They absolutely love her. Good looking little guy. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to be misting the macaws. Hannah and I are going to have a little bit of a trade-off right here. I'm going to take the macaw. Come here, little guy. Hannah's on the camera I've got the little macaw right there and what we're going to do now is we are going to miss the macaws by missing the macaws they're able to actually preen their feathers and keep them clean when they preen their feathers that's actually when they go with their beak and they pick through their feathers and clean off all the little food particles and all kinds of everything you just want to bite me you don't like me I love you though but guys right now we're gonna try to kiss them we kissed him. So we're gonna miss him right now, and he absolutely loves being missed. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just, we give the macaws a bath every day, and this helps strengthen the bond between handler and animal, caretaker and animal, whatever you wanna call it, but by giving these guys a bath, they're able to keep nice, clean feathers. They absolutely enjoy it, considering we live in hot South Florida. He's pooping along the way. Oh, you want some water right there? So we're just gonna spray him just all over, and you can see, as you spray him, the feathers darken up. They absolutely are loving it. Isn't that right, kiddos? We're, we're almost out of water. So now I have both Blue and Sky out of the cage. Now with these guys right here, they were born together. They're actually clutch mates, meaning they were born from the same parents and they're actually siblings. So with these guys right here, we're gonna get them to exhibit their flight behavior right now. We're just gonna take these two right now. And in order to get parents to actually kind of fly and exhibit that, you gotta take them and you're gonna go like this. Oh my gosh. This is how you can actually help them exercise their wings. You can get them to fly. And if I were to actually take one of these macaws, shoot them up, they would fly away, be in the wilds of South Florida. Now, one thing I wanna do at my ranch is I wanna get macaws and I wanna send them for free flight training. When we send macaws for free flight training, they actually get sent off and get trained to actually fly wild and come back. 
So that would just be absolutely amazing to actually do. These macaws, unfortunately, are not mine. They're not my sister's. Oh my, hey, be nice to your brother. Be nice. We're gonna put the macaws back inside of their enclosure right now. We're gonna put number one in there, and we're gonna put number two. Here you go, guys. Here you go, have a good time in your enclosure. They're still learning to step off, and there they are, they're in their enclosure. Now the very first thing that I have to do now is we're gonna install this toy first. This toy is gonna be an easy one to install. We're just gonna literally use this clip, and we're gonna clip it on top in there. But first, we actually have to introduce the toy to them because, well, they might be a little bit scared of it, so we're just gonna enter right now. I'm gonna come on in, and if you guys come here and you look, you can see that we're gonna enter the toy. Hi, look at the toy, look at it. Oh, that's a colorful looking toy. So with this toy right here now, guys, I gotta bend over. We're gonna install this toy right here. I'm gonna put this toy right here for these macaws so they can grab it. You can already see they're very interested in it. This is great enrichment for them, and I wanna put it close by the perch so they can actually be sitting on the perch. They can play with the toy. You wanna see it? Look at that, that's a crazy looking toy, guys. That's awesome that we're able to give these macaws some new enrichment. Not only do we have that toy, but I have these two toys right here for them. And with these, we're actually gonna have to zip tie them inside of the enclosure. So I've got these zip ties. They may break the zip ties, but we're gonna give it a try. Even if they do, we'll just, you know, next time we'll use metal zip ties. So I'm gonna enter on in right here. Now guys, go right now and comment down below where I should put these toys. Should I put it on that side? Should I put it on that side? Go comment down below. I wanna know where you think I should put the toys, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put one on the back side and one on the front side. So I'm gonna come on in right now. Hi guys, hello little kiddos. I'm going to put this toy right here. So we're gonna take this triangle. We're just gonna feed the zip tie in. We've got our zip tie almost in place. We're just gonna take the zip tie. We're gonna go like this and with zip ties, you just zip them up just like that. And look at that, we've got a nice little macaw toy. Oh yeah, look at that, he's already going for it. Guys, look at this. He's already enjoying his new toy. This is exactly what we want. We wanna give these macaws some great new enrichment so they can actually stimulate their mind so they can have good mental health. Look at that, how do you like your toy? Guys, go right now and comment down below if you think these macaws like their new toys. Here you go, bud, have the toy. Enjoy your little toy. We've got our final toy installed in three, two, one snipped shut. We've got three new toys, three new great enrichment toys for these macaws. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you did enjoy watching today's video where you guys got to see the macaws all grown up. It's absolutely insane to see them where they were when they were first born to where they are now. It is absolutely insane, and that is all thanks to my sister, Hannah. You wanna come here, you wanna say hi? Hannah is right here. The reason these macaws have done so well is because of Hannah right here, so guys, if you haven't seen Hannah's channel yet, well, what are you waiting for? Hannah's channel is going to be linked down below. Go subscribe to her channel. You can watch all the videos on the macaws when we first got them, them getting their first bath, and all kinds of other videos on them, as well as all kinds of other crazy animals. Make sure to go subscribe to her channel. Make sure you go right now and comment down below what you thought of the macaws. And if you are not subscribed already, you enjoy the content, you want to see more macaws, tigers, lions, monkeys, pretty much every single crazy animal there is, well, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell, and you all will be notified whenever I post.